Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the U8G2 library with the ESP32 chip. Let's quickly review how to include it in your program. First, create a component folder in the main folder of your program. Then, copy in this folder the content of the U8G2 GitHub repository. The easiest way to do it is to download the old repository as a zip file. You also need two files developed by Nick Colban with a specific function for the ESP32 chip. You can download the files from Nick repository. Open the file, right click on the row button and save link to the main folder of your project. On my blog, you can find all the instructions to configure and use the library. Here I'll show you how to prepare an image to be displayed on your LCD. First, let's use an image I found on the internet. My display is monochrome, so I choose a black and white image. After having downloaded the image, you have to resize it to fit your screen and to convert it to XBM format. Here I'm using a free program, paint.net, to scale the image down to 60 per 60 pixel. Now I can use an online tool to convert it to the correct format. Open the image, click convert, and after a few seconds you can download the image in XBM BM format. XBM format is just a byte array. You can open the file with the text editor give the image a more understandable name and change the array type to static uint8 this is indeed the type the library requires you can also merge more images in a single header file that will be included in your program This is the demo program running on my Diduino 32 dev board. Thanks for watching.